Good afternoon, family. I pray you all are having a blessed day. I wanted to come and continue to encourage you all to continue to pray. I know we had our three-day fast on last week, and I believe that God did do a shifting. You know, if you can see now, there are people that are coming together. The officers now are coming together to unify with the people to bring about a shifting and a change. And you know, I believe a lot of people were praying and fasting that we would see that shift, and that's what's taking place place. You know, the Bible says in Matthew chapter six, and it speaks in Matthew chapter six, uh, about prayer and fasting and how Jesus began to speak to the disciples. And he was telling them how to pray and how not to pray, how to fast and how not to fast. Basically the do's and the don'ts of praying and fasting. And I've had a lot of people who've been asking me, you know, how do I pray? How do I fast? How do I do? Matthew chapter six talks about fasting and praying. Also Isaiah 58 talks about true fasting. And so I, I offer this information to those who are looking to find the true way of fasting or the true way of praying. You know, the Bible speaks in Matthew six, Jesus began to give a specific prayer to the disciples and tell them if they were to pray this prayer, this prayer covered everything. It, it, it puts you in a place of repentance. It puts you in a place of humility. It even put you in a place to forgive those who sinned against you so that you then can be forgiven of your sins. You, you know, this prayer covered everything. And so when you don't know how to pray or you don't know what to say in prayer, just pray that prayer, that our father's prayer, because that prayer covers everything and it will help you in your walk with God. It will help you in every area of your life because it covers everything, every hidden thing everything that you've ever gone through that prayer will cover it for you so I encourage you Matthew chapter 6 read that prayer speak that prayer over your life and you will begin to see a shift and a change over your life when you pray that prayer that our father's prayer and I want to also encourage all of you that have asked me, you know, can we go back on another fast? Listen, 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 listen. If you are feeling a pushing and, and, and an urgency to continue to fast, don't stop because we stop corporately. Continue to fast because maybe there are some things that God is wanting to do in your life and there are some things that God is wanting to do in others' lives and it can actually come through you. So I encourage you, if you feel that urgency and you still feel the desire to fast, continue to fast because God will shift and God will change some things. Maybe God wants to see how far you would go with him individually and personally and intimately. I encourage all of you never stop praying. The Bible tells us in first Thessalonians chapter five, verse 17, pray without ceasing because prayer holds power. Prayer shifts and prayer changes things. And so as we are seeing, you know, our world come to a place of unity, we're seeing our world come to a place of, of coming together and peace. Listen, let's continue to pray and war. There is a plot that the enemy has, but God has a plan and his plan will always prevail. His plan will always override the plots of the enemy. Let's continue to be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in God so that we can see the work of God abound over this world. I love you all so much and I am continuing to pray for you all that you continue to walk in the will and the purpose that God has set forth for you. I'm going to close in prayer. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I thank you, God, for this day. I thank you, oh God, for giving us life and new mercies and your grace, oh God, abounding over us and overtaking us. God, I thank you Father, I thank you for everything that you're doing in the land. Father, we thank you for the peace that we're seeing take over the land. God, we thank you for the unity that we're seeing. God, we thank you for the people that are rising up and they're praying. Oh God, even in the streets. Father, we understand, oh God, that you are bringing us into a time, God, where we can see your glory over our land. We can see your power over our land. So Father, I am praying right now, God, that you continue, God, to open up the minds and the hearts of the people, that they see what you're doing in this time. They 
trust what you're doing and they're confident in what you're doing oh God father I thank you oh God for everyone that's going to watch this video God that their hearts are going to be pricked and they're going to be able to believe you like never before they're going to be able to trust you like never before and they're going to be able to walk in the plan and the purpose that you set forth for them father we thank you oh God and we thank you for the land that is being healed right now in the mighty name of Jesus God we seal this prayer amen and amen listen go forth you guys continue to keep praying and fasting because your prayers can change a nation as well love you god bless